How's it going guys? Welcome back to the episode of Fishing ATX. Today's video is gonna be very different than the usual style of video I post. I like to normally post a lot of like kind of long style fishing vlog videos where I'll have a full day of fishing. Today's video is gonna be very, very different. Today's video is just specializing on one catch in particular, and this catch, y'all, is a wild one. So let's set the scene. If y'all didn't know already, I am absolutely insane about fishing. I will fish at any time of the day or night, especially if I feel like I can get an advantage. And a few weeks ago, I ended up heading out to the water around 2 a.m. because I felt like I was gonna get an advantage just due to the way the weather was that morning and the kind of front we had coming in. I knew between the 2 to 5 a.m. window was gonna be some of the best fishing weather we'd had in a while, so I was like, I gotta take advantage of it. So I got up, left my house at 1.30 a.m. and got on the water by 2 a.m. and I did some fishing in the dark for a couple hours and I caught a few decent bass. I also lost a couple, which kind of hurt, but overall I really did not do as good as I was hoping to do. There it is. Nice. Oh, I popped off, damn it. That was a good eat. There he is. Nice. It's not a bad fish. Hope this watch is stay pinned. Ooh. Shut that fish at all. <sighs> Dick, I'm it. That's frustrating. Goodness. That's another fish. Back to back. Okay, please, mid land one for the love of all things holy. I think he's off. I think he's off. What's he running right at me? I can't tell. No, he's just really small. Oh my goodness. Well, that stinks. The last fish was like a three and a half. This one's about a three incher, but it's all right. We'll take it. That eases some pain. At least got one in the boat. Talk about good start to two casts in the flat. Very first cast. There he is. That could be an okay fish. Not really. He's not terrible though. Not bad, he's not bad. Honestly, I'm just glad he didn't pop off when I turned him. <laughs> I was really scared he was gonna pop off when I turned him. First solid bite, since it's becoming daytime. Not a bad one. I'd say probably just shy too. Nice seat by this guy. Alrighty, friend, I'll see you later. So what ends up happening is I'm going through this little canal channel. It's a, it's a place on this lake that I love to fish a lot. I'm just going through there looking to sight fish some bass. And I've seen some really big ones in there as of lately. So I was looking for another giant. And I see this massive black figure in the water. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? I get closer and I'm like, holy cow, that's a big old catfish. There's all these little bluegill feeding around it. I'm like, wow. That's absolutely crazy. So I get up closer to it and I see like, man, it's a big blue catfish. I'm like, I can't tell how big it really is though. I can see how long it is. But I can't see its stomach or anything just the way it's sitting. It's only in like two feet of water, kind of right up by the edge. I'm like, huh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna toss my little uh, fluke at it just as a joke. Cause I had to like caught a lot of fish that day. You know, let's see how it reacts. I wanna see if I'm gonna spook it or something. So I went ahead and did that. I flipped my little fluke right in its face and I literally landed it right on top of its nose. And when I did that, the fish just looked up and boom, snatched the fluke up. And in that instant, I'm like, oh crap. This, this fish actually just ate and I see it turn. I see its stomach. I'm like, okay, this isn't a 15, 20 pound channel cat. This is like a 40, 50 pound blue cat. I've got a little bass rod and like 12 pound test. What, what, what am I gonna do? So I see it turn, I set the hook and it starts running. I'm just like, oh God. I'm in trouble, what am I gonna do? Luckily I was only in a little four to five foot deep canal because if I was in deeper water, I think there's no way I ever could have possibly landed this fish. But let's just say guys, just from me being dumb and messing around, I ended up catching one of the biggest fish of my life a couple days ago. And that's what today's video is going to be. This is gonna be a complete cast to catch 
of a giant blue catfish that almost broke the lake record that I caught on straight up bass gear with like 12 pound test. Unbelievable. So without further ado y'all, here is a cast to catch of one of the biggest catfish I've ever seen in my life. And if y'all do like this video, go ahead and check out some other ones. Like I said, this is a very different video from how I usually post. Regular uploads will be coming again soon, but go ahead and check out the rest of the videos and subscribe if you do enjoy. Hope y'all like this one. It's, it's freaking wild. Is that a catfish or a grass Tell me that's a catfish, please. Dude, that's a catfish. Holy Dude, that is a behemoth catfish. Oh my God. Goodness, that thing is huge. I'm surprised he hasn't seen me yet. Oh, dude, that catfish is a giant. No way he actually ate it. Oh, <laughs> it's a blue. I'm just keeping on. I'm just gonna chase it. Oh. I think he popped off. No, he didn't. Okay, I need to be really careful because this fish is going to break my rod. Like, this thing is too big for my, my rod. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have even done that. Why did I do that? <laughs> I was just messing with it. I put it right on its head. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Well, I got a new trolling motor, at least for now. Even if I get this thing close, I don't know how I'm going to land it. This is like a 40 pound blue catfish. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, crap. He's going right for the bed. That's not good. I mean. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why I did that, really. <laughs> Dude, he is behemoth size. <laughs> I mean, the gut on this fish is just unfreaking believable, dude. I have to chase him down again. <sighs> He's just pulling me, dude. This is the fish pulling me. I'm just gonna be very nice and easy on him. Oh my goodness, this thing is just huge. I mean, that is a giant. It's gonna, I mean, if I land this thing, it's gonna take a really long time just cause I mean, it's so big. Like, I'm not going to tire it out real easily. Like, it doesn't even seem tired. That's the thing. Like, yeah, dude, I do not have the rod <laughs> to tire this thing out with. It's not even going to fit in the net. I've kind of screwed myself here. I don't really know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I didn't really think that through. I was just kind of screwing around with it and then actually ate it. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh, bro. Did I try to swim in the net right here? I don't know. He does seem like he's getting tired, I will say. He's not as aggressively running as he was a minute ago. Can't quite tire him out at least yet. It's like he's close to the boat, but he's just he's so heavy I can't really pull him up. It's just gonna have to be on his own terms when he's tired enough to actually come in. 
And like, I mean, this fish weighs probably triple the amount that my line test is. <laughs> so I can't really horse it or do anything stupid with it. I mean, it's just a massive, like, just ball of lard. <laughs> Don't go into the trolling motor, please. I just can't really move it. That's the only problem. I don't know how I'm going to get it up and actually in the net. Because I can't really get it tired either. This one, I really wish I had another person here to net it for me. At this point, I really just want to just get it off. <laughs> like, I just want to let it go. <laughs> Buddy, just give up, please, so I can just get you in the net and let you go. I mean, the gut on this fish is just unbelievable. This is so frustrating because it's like, it's right by the boat, but it's like, I, I can't, I can't do anything to pull it up though. I just need him to like get on the surface for just long enough for me to get him in the net. Every time I try to horse it up or anything, it just gets mad and just digs its head back down. Is this the last place I ever would have expected to find a fish like this? So, is this like the even crazier thing about this? All right, maybe, maybe, maybe. Like you can tell it's tired. It's just like, it's just sitting on the bottom now. <clears throat> Okay, it did not like the net. No, it fits about like the net. Okay. Okay, it did not like the net at all. Not a fan of the net. Come on, buddy. If you, if you let me get you in the net, I can actually help you out. You know? That's the only thing I worry about right there. Is me trying to net him and then it darting underneath the boat and breaking my rod or something. That's just what I really don't want to have happen. Let's look right here, bro. As soon as it sees the net, it just gets so like spooky. I mean, I don't blame it obviously, but. <sighs> Come on, fish. We're so close, dude. Like, just let this be over. No, quit it. <sighs> I'm exhausted, dude. It's just like literally now that I fought this thing for so long, I don't want to actually get it in. I mean, this thing is unbelievably big. Like, I gotta land this thing now. I gotta land it. You know, like, I'm not equipped to hold this fish, though, either. Alright, come here. 
I got it. Oh my gosh. I can't even pick it up, dude. I can't even pick it up. Oh. All right, power lift for time. Oh my God. I just caught that on a bass rod. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Just caught this on a freaking fluke bass rod. This is the biggest catfish I've ever seen in my life, at least in the wild. We gotta get a weight, some pictures. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I can barely even pick him up. He's so freaking heavy. Okay, let's figure this out. I don't want to bring this thing up to the front where all the rods are because God forbid it flops around, you know. I don't want my rods getting destroyed. I mean, look at that fish. <sighs> this thing's like 60 pounds. I don't even think I have a scale like a weight, if I'm being honest. I'm going to have to get a, a length and a girth on it. That's all, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think I'm going to be able to weigh it. Yeah, so as you can probably imagine, this fish was much too big for my scale. So I ended up getting a length and a girth on it. The length ended up coming out to be 43 inches, the girth being 33, which when plugged into a blue catfish scale, estimates the weight of this fish to be 48 to 52 pounds. So we'll call it a 50 pounder, which in that case is the second biggest fish of my life. Forgot to mention this too, but I was able to get the fish safely back into the water and released off camera. So I just looked it up y'all to see what it was. The lake record blue catfish in here is 56 pounds, six ounces and 47 inches in length. That fish was not far off. I don't think it was 47 inches. I think it was like 42, 43, but that was probably an almost potential lake record size blue catfish. I would say that thing was right around probably 50 pounds. Goodness gracious.